Those libraries. Pretty. Slow gin. There. Amazing. Well, oh, just what you can reach. Well, I mean. Wow. Yeah. It's either slows or bullets, actually. It looks smaller. I still got thorns, look. Here's what the forage today. Um, slows, Curros, um, blackberries, rose hips. Bought a few of those to scatter around the wood and some elderberries. So we'll just do the elderberries now with a fork. Oh, I've got, I've got some of these amongst the mints as well, which are. Hawthorn. Apparently, you can make hawthorn ketchup. So, I'm going to see what I can do with these. Just sorting these out. Got quite a few rose hips. Right, so a bit more to do. I'll put them under the hedge. Um, I've got about three pounds of slows, I think. And here we go. Here's the um, Bullison slows. We harvested yesterday, and here's some damsons for comparison. They're frozen, but you see the size of those compared to those. Okay, right. Well, I always thought that it was slows. Didn't really know much about bullets. I'd heard of them, but I didn't know the difference. But now I do. They've both got thorns on the bushes, and the leaves look the same. And the same leaves, damson, a bit bigger. But those slows are never ever ripe. They always taste as if they're unripe and tart, even when the frost comes. Whereas bullis are just like little wild plums. They do taste quite nice at this time of year, which is the end of September. So uh, what I'm going to do with them, I'm going to make some brandy with the bullis. I might even make a pie. You never know, because it is plum. Taste the bullis. All right. It's not a little bit yeah. sour. A bit sour. A bit sour. But not bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, you wouldn't eat many. Okay. Well, that not one. the best, but that should have been really tart. But, well, the one we had the other day was really tart, wasn't it? Yeah. Did I film you doing that? Well, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult. They're very that's similar, aren't they? Oh God, that's a tart one. That turns your face inside out. <laughs> Not good. So here we go. Here's the frozen bullis. I froze overnight. And here's a nice jar. Yeah, a bottle. It's an IKEA one. I quite like this one because you can actually detach that top quite easily and just microwave it. Make sure it's nice and clean. Some brandy and some sugar. So. I'm going to pop those in the bottle. They are bullets. I've frozen them overnight so that they break up a bit. Rather than, you know, getting the knife on each one or something, it's just much easier just to freeze them and quicker. I've used both of my wide mouth ones up, so it's just as well these bullets are quite small. I thought there was, I've been thinking all along they're slows, but then if you bite into them they're not as tart as slows. It's just a wild plum, so it's much sweeter. If you ever a small child about when you want to do these sort of jobs, is there? I'm sure they'd like to do it. There we go, that's plenty. Now the sugar. Water. I'll just shake it. What do you think? 
cat. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? Shake them around. You have to keep shaking it every day for a week, by the way. Now the brandy. I hope I've got enough room in that bottle. So I'm wondering if it's big enough now. Anyway, I'll have to drink the rest of the brandy somehow. No problem. Not the brandy drinker, to be honest, but... So what I intend to do is to leave it till Christmas and I've just bought these, look, they're nice aren't they, like little brandy bottles. So I'm getting quite a collection now, shall I show you my collection? Right, so that's Bullis Brandy and that's Dams and Vodka and that's uh, ready lemons, ready for limoncello. And that's, um, what, like Kirsch, that's Cherry, uh, what is it, Vodka, I think, yeah, and there's some elderberry syrup there. So I'm tempted to get the old uh, Demijohns out and actually make some wine, because this is cheating week, isn't it, you know, very cheaty. That needs a good shake. But, why not? Don't know what to do with these guys yet either. I did make some rose hip syrup, so that's okay. 